What's up, beautiful people? My hair, a little strain of hair is bothering me. So. Sometimes they just fall out of my face, and I'll be fidgeting and stuff. Just little strands here and there. Okay, y'all. I got a, a, a um, CVS haul I want to share with y'all today. But I also want to start out by saying, um, um, and that, um, I got my free cotton squad. It's 200 in here. Don't I get these things from the Dollar Tree, but I got this for free, so, and it, it values at three nineteen per container, um. So, two hundred in there. So I got that free. I know they're giving away stuff at CVS, and I missed a few things. Like I think it was the colorful band aids that they said were free. I missed that one. I got the gummy bears um, that I had ordered. I showed y'all to you, that to y'all in my last video, and then today I got these. You know, for taking off your makeup, fingernail polish, or whatever. And this was, let me find the receipt for this. It's supposed to be free, so I hope the girl didn't charge me for it. She charged me for it and it was supposed to be free. Yep, she did. Because it was supposed to be free, y'all. This is my free one. And she charged me for it when I told her I wanted to use that for my free one. Um, wait a minute. Let me see. Let me make sure I got the right receipt. Okay, so no, she didn't. No, she didn't. I found the right receipt. I was looking at because I got more than one um, of the 360 because I think when you spend 10 you get $3 back, and I think it was $2 off um, the Beauty 360 product. So that's why, that's the deal that I did. So I did um, come out to be free. It's the 80-count um, round cottons free. 99 free 99 okay it's actually regular price at 399 but it was free for me today so um okay so i got some more things on this okay um uh, i had bought the um Hold up. The 360, um, the Beauty 360, um, cool moisturizing bar. And I wanted to try this. This seems like a good product. It's a cucumber and green tea scent. Um, so I wanted to try this, and this was. I know it was $3.49. $3.49. And then I got um Church of the 80 count. Then I got the This is one I tried to use, but I already used it when I did an order online. Um the skin cement razors. I don't know if I'm gonna get these away because y'all know my favorite by chic is um like the hydro and the quadro and stuff like that. These right here, this probably would I'll just give away because I um I can't risk getting cut because of my situation. Um, have to be really careful about removing hair up under my arms because I had my breasts removed. So, <laughs> um, okay, so I got the um, wedges, the jumbo cosmetic wedges, and they were um. Three seventy nine. 
So my total for this was $1.57 for all of these products. You know, the razors are $8.29 by themselves. And they pay $1.57 plus tax, which, you know, they tax the out of out of sight, out of mind. The tax on this was um, $125. Um, so my total was $2.82 for the soap. The wedges for your makeup. The 829 razors. The wedges was 379. And then this was free, but regularly priced at 399. So I got those items for two dollars and eighty-two cents out of pocket. Because I used um a seven dollar registry reward. I'm not registry reward, but extra care about ECB, whatever you want to call it, a five dollar one. A two dollar one that was on my account, and then the three ninety nine came off for the free product. So I saved ninety two percent in this transaction, which is seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, and it said I lacked um like two dollars and eighty two cents to get that three dollars for the spend ten, so I had to spend buy another um, product. I think my son is out here, y'all. Let me unlock the door. So sorry about that. I am back. Okay, so let me show y'all what I mean by two eighty two out of pocket. Okay, so that's my total that I spent for all those products up there. Two eighty two, one fifty seven without tax. And then this is what I say ninety two percent, seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents, and I got five dollars back. So I spent um two eighty two and I got five dollars back. Then I rolled it into my next transaction. So let's get the, to the next transaction. I had to scan these receipts also, y'all, before I forget. Yeah. Okay, so let's go over the next one. I did the um, spend 30, get 10. That's just sticky. Um, so what I did was get um, three of the Pantene. I had a $2 off coupon that I printed out at the red box. And then um, I had, uh, I don't know about, I thought I had some some um, coupons on my account for the, um, when you spend the money on the the. Shampoo, the hair products, but I don't know. I thought I had like a three dollar anyway. To get the three dollars back for the um beauty 360, spend 10, get um three. I got the cotton balls, these cotton balls were 279 and I had a uh dollar off coupon so that made it um 179 so that's a good price for that because y'all know i ain't big about paying that much for cotton balls or nothing like that <laughs> cotton balls and q-tips and stuff I ain't big on that so i got these and i'm probably gonna give them away to my sister um the repair um hair products the repair and protect bite damage um Every wash, it's the Pro V. Pro V. I got three of these. No, I got two of these and one for the back of the bag, y'all. I got one for Beautiful Links, two and one conditioner and shampoo. So there were three for 
three for twelve, I think. And I had a two dollar off, so then I got um I had a coupon for two dollars off of hold up, did it come off? It was supposed to be two dollars off my pause, y'all. And it only took a dollar off. I thought it was supposed to be two dollars. Anyway, I got 36 count. And these were eleven dollars and ninety-four cents. But I thought I had a two or three dollar off. Let me see. Because when they be back there clicking stuff, they might be clicking off of your stuff. Like the coupons are supposed to be coming off. Um, let me see. Glad I printed this out. Yeah. Three dollars. Two dollars off, y'all. That's it. Three dollars. Five pods. It didn't come off. So. I'm not sure why it didn't come off, but it was supposed to be three dollars off for the tie pause, y'all. So I'm gonna have to call CVS about that or either email them about that because I I had it on there. I knew it. I knew my total was coming out to be a little bit extra than that was supposed to be. Um anyway, I got Two of these, y'all know I, I have fallen in love with these um, Platinum Power Wash by Dawn. Four ninety nine dollars each. I got two of those. These things, all you got to do is spray your dishes, rinse, you know, get the dish rag and, and wash and rinse it off. It cleans so easy. So easy. So... That was my spin 30 get um get 10. So I use a 50 cent off done. And it's two dollars off three. Select something. Pantene. Two dollars off three select pantines and um a dollar off the cotton balls, a dollar off the tie paws, which is supposed to be three dollars, y'all. I don't know why they did that, but um, and then I had a fifteen dollar off. I mean, a fifteen dollar um extra care book, a ten dollar extra care book, and a five dollar extra care book. So it took my subtotal down to two twenty one, and the tax, of course, you know that was high, two dollars seventy eight cents. So I ended up paying four ninety nine out of pocket, but I saved um ninety five percent, which is forty five dollars and seventy two cents. Even though a lot of times I feel like these um, drug stores, they have their price markup is like a lot high. <laughs> so I spent $4.99 out of pocket, but I got $13 back. So I got $13. Um, what's the other one? I think I got $14 to start off with the next time I shop. So, I got to put this stuff over here because, y'all, I got to scan my, all my stuff. Make sure my, all my stuff is scanned to Fresh Rewards. And I think I used this one, the Maybelline one, because she said it, it said it was already redeemed. So, yeah, so that is my CVS haul, y'all. And y'all let me know what I'm supposed to do because I, I know I've gotten stuff wrong up wrong before and I just took it back and they just price modified and gave me the change back on it. Um, that was when like the shelf was marked one thing and it run up another. But um, this is the coupon that I had clipped to my account for the Tide Pods and it didn't come off. So, <clears throat> what else I was going to share with y'all? Oh yeah, I got free ice cream for my birthday because my birthday is in a couple of weeks, y'all. I probably already told y'all that though. I went to Harvey Supermarket and got my free ice cream, which valued at $4.99, and it was for, um, $3.99, and I was happy about that. And then, like, I got a 
a mystery bonus four times the points. So I went to Harvey's and I um I had a savings reward savings of nineteen dollars and forty eight cents. The coupon savings for the ice cream was four ninety nine, so it took four ninety nine off. And um, the total savings I saved um, twenty four dollars and forty seven cents on my transaction at Harvey's. So if y'all don't have the Harvey's grocery store coupon, um, some of you guys may not have the Harvey's in your area, but I'm just saying if you do, make sure you get the app. Or because um, I think when you have these apps, um, you get more rewards. I don't have all the apps because my phone is an Android and it can't it can't take all that stuff. <laughs> I need to upgrade my phone and have a phone that has space on it so I can download all the apps that I want to and save everywhere I can. But at, as of now, I don't have all those apps, even though it would be helpful. I just go to my account on the dot com site and click coupons to my account. And then they send me emails. Um to let you know that you got like at Publix to let you know that you got like two dollars off your next ten dollars purchase, um, or five dollars or ten dollars, however they do it. And like with my birthday being this month, they sent me that email at Harvest to get that free ice cream. And I had up until July 31st to get that free ice cream. I'm waiting on Dunkin' Donuts and Krispy Kreme to send me <laughs> an email. I was I've didn't get my um free stuff from them last year because of the way I was working and how I was being sick and stuff. So hopefully this year I'll be all right and I'll be able to go get my free stuff because I like free stuff too. Um yeah, and let me tell you about my experience at Publix today. So I don't know if I told y'all about like when I um emailed Frito Lay because it was like. I like to do my nachos with the little cheese and jalapeno peppers. And I don't like the um, quite queso um, cheese with the different stuff in it. I don't like that kind. And that's all I see in the stores now. I like salsa. I like the mild, medium, and hot salsa by um, Frito-Lay or Castillo's or whatever you call it. Anyhow, I emailed them and they said that... Um, <clears throat> Something about just check at the stores and then it might be, I don't know, with the pandemic going on, it might be a lack of products or shipments or whatever at the stores. But after I emailed them, I went to the stores and I found them. But anyway, I, any, anyway, they got my email, no, my, my address. And they sent me some coupons in the mail. So I had coupons and I didn't want to wait till they expire because sometimes I do do that. And I went to Harvey's. To pick up some more stuff and just so happened they had this Tostitos dip and chips and stuff on sale for like three for ten. To me, that's a good deal. Then I had those coupons I thought about before I left the store. Then they had the Mott's apple juice um three for six, two dollars a piece for you know a big container. So I got those and then I got um some Oreo cookies they were three for I mean, two for six. <clears throat> Anyhow, I had, you know, I got these accounts. I put my coupons to my accounts because I don't never know what I'm going to end up using when I go to the store. So I just try to clip all the, the things that I actually use. So that way, if I happen to pick it up, it's already clipped to my account. I don't have to worry about while I'm in the store trying to clip it to my account. Anyhow, I went to check out. I put my um, phone number in and the keypad. So that way, any coupons that I had clipped to my account, they'll come off. Because, you know, these cashiers, they like to go ahead and press total before you could even do anything. Like, why they do that? Like, it ain't taking nothing out of their pocket. You know, it ain't holding them up because you put your phone number in the keypad. Because I had one lady at Publix tell me one time um, that I ain't really have to put my um, phone number in there. You don't tell me what to do, lady, like, because I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for the longest. Like, I had coupons put in my account. Had I not put my phone number in there, my coupons that I had on that those purchases that I bought that day wouldn't have came off. Like, mind your business. Let me put my phone number in there. I know what I'm doing. Anyway, <laughs> so I gave her the coupons that the vendor sent me in the mail to go towards the products 
that um I got and she was trying to think of every reason possible to keep from taking my coupons and I'm like why she called another lady over there and she was like I don't think we can take but one like why I asked I was like why they not scanning because she didn't even try to scan them she had already made up her mind she didn't want to take my coupons anyway like you could tell these are manufacturers coupons like they had a little gloss on them, like, say for instance, like this, they had a little gloss across the bark on, and everything was just so neat. It, it was not a coupons.com printed out coupon. So, why is you tripping about my coupons? Like, and she was trying to find reasons not to say my coupons. So, I got a little upset, and then I had to, like, dial it back and, you know, let God speak to me. And, and say, remember you prayed about not letting people, people's actions or words or whatever change your mood or your attitude or your day. So I got back into my, you know, and I'm, but I was just like, I couldn't understand why. I don't understand why some cashiers make a big deal out of something that is obviously um, a manufacturer's coupon. It's not printed out or anything it was something that they sent me in the mail because i am a loyal pro loyal to that product you know and i emailed them about something that i wanted and had i not um like just just because i was about to say just keep it i'll go somewhere else and spend my money but then i um i stayed there and i was like let them do what they're gonna do I bought me some Pillsbury dough cookies, you know, the kind that is 24 to a pack that you cook in the oven. I got those. I just had, I just wanted to get some snacks today. And y'all, I came across a very, very, very <laughs> delicious ice cream. And I'm signing to like Miss Brown. What's her name? She's on Instagram, y'all. She's an actress. I think she's from South Carolina, but she is so funny. Um... She be like very, very, very good. <laughs> Let me see if I can find her name, cause y'all need to look her up. She is so funny to me. Her, her daughters and her husband, they do um, Instagram videos together. They eat a lot of natural foods, not processed foods and stuff. And they share. Um, people send them stuff, and they share, you know, how they like it on the videos. And it's just. Let me see if she posted anything lately, cause I cannot, cannot think of her name. Something telling me her last name Brown, but I can't remember. <clears throat> anyway, y'all, if y'all got Instagram, y'all probably already know. I can't find it. Yeah, if I could find her, whatever, I'll post her name down below in the description box. But anyway, she's very, very hilarious. She's um, a god fearing woman, and um, she does some great videos. She tests out a lot of food, natural foods and stuff. So, but anyway, I tried the Hagen Dazs ice cream. It was a little cup of the chocolate chocolate chip. Y'all, that's the best ice cream like I've had in so, so long. Let me see if it's on here. Did she read it up? Oh, wow, well, I don't see it. Okay, yeah, it's on there. For a pint, y'all, it's $5.15. Y'all know that's too much for a pint, but that stuff is good, y'all. I wish I could have me a big old gallon of it and just, oh, my God. That stuff is good. And I'm very, very picky about, like, stuff I try because I don't like throwing away and wasting food. So, when I tried it, I got the little bitty container of it. It was about, maybe about that big for, like, $1.39 in Publix. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, that stuff is good. Anyway, let me tell y'all what I say at Publix. I say $17.93. 
thank you, Jesus, that my coupons were taken. Even though it's, you know, took her a minute to figure out whether she was going to go and take it or not. Anyway, y'all. Sometimes people just try to make your coupon in life so hard for you. And you're already struggling trying to make sure your stuff going. You got the right coupon for this and that and the other. I bought a lot of uh, Frito-Lay stuff, Tostitos and stuff like that because I like chips and dip and stuff. To me, eating light foods in the summertime makes you feel better. Because like if you eat heavy in the summertime and you feel heavy, there ain't no good feeling. So I decided to get me some light stuff and just a little junk food. <laughs> At the, while I was there, but um, yeah, I saved. It would have been fifty some dollars or more, but I saved seventy dollars and ninety three cents. I'm glad my coupon was taken. I'm glad the lady that she called over and said, "Yes, yeah, she she should be able to use all of them." The cashier was black. The lady that came over was white. She was nice. Um, I don't know. I've never had any issues like that in uh, Publix with me using coupons because I hardly ever use coupons at Publix other than the ones that are clipped to my account. So it kind of, when you calling people over there and making it look like it's something that is not or like kind of like a little scene, it kind of like put me in a bad space <laughs> but I snapped out of it <laughs> yeah and then I got two free products I'm looking for one on the way and it's a trail mix I miss the um beauty 360 um facial scrub I miss the band-aids I don't know what what else has been going on I don't know was it something else Y'all let me know if it was something else that I missed. I got the Q-tips, the gummy bears, and the um, round cotton, cotton rounds. So, so hopefully I got everything that I'm trying to get everything that they offer for free. <laughs> and I'm waiting on my trail mix to come in the in the mail or whenever they send it, however they ship it. Let me see. I'm trying to think. I'm thinking her name is Anita Brown or something like that. I want to find it before I let y'all go, though. Just in case I forget to. <clears throat> yeah, and there's... Uh, Naya Rivera, that story is so sad that she went missing and her son was left on the boat. It's just sad. So sad. But um, let me see if I can find her, her name again. Anita. Let me see. Is it Anita? She be like so so good, so so good. And her just her passion when she does stuff. It's so funny. <clears throat> anyway, if I happen to come across it, I'll let y'all know. But I just wanted to share with y'all what my day was like today. I have not I warmed up some food, some smothered chicken and rice that I cooked, and I ate that, and then now. I just got finished watching um, um, Sanaa Lathan. Um, I keep the two suits inside the house. I'm just doing it. I can't remember the name. Anyway, y'all yeah, know my mind ain't. I can't remember so. Um, hold up.
Okay, I'm back. Napoli ever after. That's what it is. Anyway, I just got finished watching that. I have to sweep. I have to mop. I have to wash clothes. So I have a lot to do. And it's already going on 9 o'clock. So y'all got to go. And I hope y'all have a blessed and safe Sunday. I have to work. But y'all pray for me that I have a blessed day. And y'all have a blessed night. Peace.